So tell me where your, um, tell me where your inspiration to paint comes from. My inspiration comes from... Did you like Picasso? Uh, you know, I never even knew about Picasso. I didn't even know who Picasso was. I was, I just was enjoying myself and I started painting this way because I wanted to be different. And I wanted, you know... When did you start painting? How old? I started painting when I was two, actually, in coloring books. Then at four and five, I was working in Inside the lines or out? Outside, of course. Outside, of course. Well, could you tell me what the names of these paintings are? Uh, yes. I'm first... fascinated by what you see and what we see and the, how you saw that. The left one is Summer in Europe, and the right one is Sunflower Fields. And uh, I really, I love, I love both of them, and I love them all. You are amazing. Thank you. You are an amazing child. Eleven. Eleven. Today, Alexandra is 30 years old and a new mother. We checked in with her at her studio in Los Angeles. Show them into the studio. Let's go. This is my studio mascot, Sophia. So um, this is my studio. It's in my parents' backyard. I produce majority of my work here. I'm never really into starting a piece and finishing it in one sitting. I have pieces in here actually that I've recently come across that I probably did even before I was on the Oprah show. So <laughs> this was in 1994, I was eight years old. I don't think my brother was born yet, it's crazy. Being on the show had a huge impact on my career, inevitably. I mean, the, the audience that you reach um, through TV is huge, as we all know, but especially uh, through Oprah's show was immense. So this is a painting I started when I was nine years old. Um, and this was my um, interpretation of Pocahontas um, at the time and then, you know, revisited years later. My passion for painting as a child was something that was not really understood by my peers. So I, I was a little bit of uh, an outcast in that sense. I mean, did I make sacrifices? Did I make very explicit choices, you know, and, and choose my career over going to every single football game or going to every single school dance or every single birthday? Absolutely. Do I regret it? No. Did I get frustrated then? 100%, of course. You know, I was 16, I was 17 a natural feeling to feel like you're missing out on things. But I never, I never had the feeling of being forced to do that. And I think that that's where the difference lies, is I actually made the choice for myself. The most I've ever sold a painting for, I think, is somewhere around $400,000. I have been incredibly lucky to make a very good living uh, for my work and not only provide for myself, but provide for my family and my extended family. Um, and that has surely been one of the greatest gifts that I've been able to receive and, and also give at the same time through my career. My parents have been uh, very dedicated to you know, managing my work. And I think that is definitely a lot of the reason why I was able to remain grounded because there was just so much going on at, at, at one point in my life. I mean, it would have been super easy to just fall off the edge and kind of lose sight of everything. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.